Yeah, I the fuck, dragon. <laughs> Run, I'm going for pictures tomorrow. We'll ask them what they reckon. Pictures tomorrow. Huh? We live. We're live. We've gone live. Hey everyone. I hope everyone's doing well. Sorry we're a bit late. We had a couple of technical difficulties Good on Brady's action. behalf. Um, yeah, we're just here in Poland waiting for the season to start, hopefully soon. Um, we're supposed to get underway on the 12th of July. Um, we've nearly finished our quarantine. Today's our last day. so One to go. One to go. So we're keen to get out and... Um, Do anything. Yeah. Other than sit at home and drink coffee all day. So, um... If you've got any questions, hit us with it. We're ready. <laughs> Brady didn't sleep last night. Um, he's so that excited. That excited for it. <laughs> and nervous. Lee Robinson, Australia. You betcha, mate. We've got bulk questions coming in. Yep. They can't, they're coming in that pot. We can't keep up. <laughs> 68 viewers. Surely someone's got something for us. Get typing. Mm. Yep. I got to drive my new van. It was a nice new van for couple of days when I was in England so thanks Rich um, we want to be back over there racing and driving them as well so hopefully we can be back there soon oh, we have, we have here it. we go we're on now Amy do you think you boys will come back to the UK this year well we don't know no one knows hopefully we do because um, we want to race and um, give the fans something to watch but um, it's up to the government and what so, it, whatever the world's doing at the moment. As soon as it's possible and we're allowed, we'd we'd be there as quick as we can. Stephen Jackson. Oh, it was exciting for me to ride there. Um, every meeting last year, you know, every time you go there, um, every week, it's a good track. It's going to be the same thing every time. Um, good venue, good people, and um, yeah, I enjoyed every minute. I'm pretty much keen as. I've, I used to I used to like going there as an away rider, so home rider will be, be be pretty sweet, and hopefully we can do it this year. Or if not, next year I'll be I'll be ready to go. Favorite track in the UK mm. has to be Bellevue. You are for me. Easy answer that, but I'll go I'll go with Sheffield. I'm keen on Sheffield. I haven't been there for a long time, so I was excited to go back there this year. Brady just likes to stick it on the boards, that's why. <laughs> Put on a show. Who's mm -hmm. the worst house, mate? Kenny. Yeah, Kenny. Kenan. Kenyon Ruvinsky. Kenan Rue lives here with us as well, so he's definitely the worst house, mate. He's the doesn't youngest. Want to, doesn't want to do anything. Nah. Younger, so he gets picked. The poor kid gets picked <laughs> on the most. So. <laughs> Andy Driver, how's your Polish coming along? Probably not as well as we'd like. It'd be good to speak Polish, but I think it's a bit out of our league. Uh, be good to understand it, so um, we know when people are talking about us and talking behind our back because um, it can happen a lot here. So I've tried a fair few times to learn, but it's too hard. Way too hard. The more you drink, the better you get. <laughs> <laughs> How easy was the choice to sign for the Aces? Uh, Mark, oh, Lemo is not very convincing, so it was pretty, pretty tough choice. <laughs> um, it was all right. Like I pretty much wanted to go there regardless of anything really, so <clears throat> wasn't wasn't too hard. What else have we got? Do you like Peterborough track? Yeah, I like it. It's a cool track. Yeah, definitely. I liked. I probably liked it a bit more back in. Premier League, I, the dirt was a lot better than I think, so I liked it a lot more then, but it's still still good to go there. It's definitely a top league track, and it's good to have it back. Peter Bar was actually my first meeting in England. That was the first track I went to, so, yeah, always remember. Amy Smith, sounds for you, <laughs> Any riders you don't get along with? 
Um, no, not off the top of my head. I haven't had any fights yet. A few clashes. A few clashes, but um, no, not really. Not off the top of my head. But I'm sure if I sat here and thought about it, um, it probably would be, yes. <laughs> and both looking forward. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I loved every minute last year. and I'm looking forward to hopefully ride this year. If not, it'll be next year. Any tracks in UK you have not ridden but would like to? Well, I pretty much rode on every track, I think. Maybe other than a few National League tracks only. But other than that, I think I've been nearly everywhere. There's a few I'd like to not go back to, but... <laughs> um, well, I haven't been to Sheffield yet, so I'm looking forward to going to Sheffield. Everyone um, raves on about it, and a lot of riders love it, and it's a big track, and um, big track suit me. No, Richard. Richard Cotton. Which of you two is the longest in the shower? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what longest he's talking yeah. about, but... KFC, McDonald's, definitely KFC. Maccas. Oh. I'm a Maccas man. Which two are going to live? Uh, no, my plan was to still live at Midlow's house this year. I've lived there for a few years now, so he can't he can't really get rid of me too easily. He's tried. I keep coming back. Made himself at home. Reese Harvey. No, it hasn't. Uh, what do you say? Has your engine turned up yet? Uh, no, if you take too long to send everything, nice. yeah. Question from Simon. How you getting? Yes, I am. Um, I've got uh, um, a heap of stuff getting made from uh, Sport Gang here in Poland. Um, I was lucky enough for them to help me out and sponsor me this year. Um, I had stuff done, but sponsors have changed and everything. And um, with all this coronavirus stuff going on, I've um, kind of eased up a bit on it um but yes i will once the season gets rolling um i'll have it all up on facebook my facebook page and also my website so and i will have stuff at bellevue too so hayley brady have you had time to get used to the idea of wearing red over blue well i only had about well one day to look at me suit and that was i haven't seen i haven't seen it since uh hopefully yeah hopefully i can get the red suit back on again See, here we go. If Paul were still in the Premiership, would you have signed for Bellevue? Oh, probably. I will see. You're for a change, yeah, I think it was a good. It was a good time. I enjoyed my time at Paul, but I think it was probably a good time for me to leave. Or I'm not really sure. It would have been a tough, tough decision, but I'm I'm happy to be be at Bellevue. That's for sure. We might still see you watching pool, if not racing. Yeah, for sure. I would have been there all the time. We've got um, Ben Cook living living with me at Midlows now, and me and him are really good friends. We're from the same same town back in Australia, so I would have been definitely down there every Wednesday night, is it now? I would have been down there every Wednesday watching, for sure, trying to help the boys. If the money in England was the same or a bit lower than Polska, would you prefer? Um, I don't know. Poland's... It, they're just two totally different leagues. Yeah, uh, you can't really compare. You can't compare them, but I think if the money was bigger in England, you'd have a lot more um, big-name riders racing in England, and the league would be even harder than what it is. And the money would change everything for the leagues. You know, the crowd, the riders would be better, the crowds would be bigger, it'd be atmosphere and everything would be better, and you could see. But you can't you can't really compare the tracks in England to, to Poland. Like the the racing's just way too good in Poland at the moment for how the tracks are prepared and looked after and everything. So hopefully in the future that England can can move up to Poland's level. Do you prefer longer tracks? Yeah, I like big tracks. Yeah, I like big track, man. That's Any, why I'm any <laughs> anyone who followed me in mid Premier League days, seen that I was a big track rider. <laughs> How did you find riding the speed bumps going into each bend at pool every week and will you miss them? Probably will miss them actually, yeah. I didn't, I, the bumps at pool never worried me, to be honest. I was never, I knew where they were. You got good at them. Yeah, they, I started enjoying them in the end, I think. It was fine. The pool was cool. sometimes, like so many away riders used to go there and not try. Like it was so such an easy track to ride at sometimes. 
but other times not so much but it was all right i never minded the track at pool which track do you not want to go back to uh i quite i quite like all the elite league tracks now it's not not too bad but definitely in the premier league there's a there's a few i'd like to not go back most memorable race you've been a part of Ooh. Sure. In Australia or over in Europe? Mm. Probably like one with a teammate or something is usually the best, like someone to be happy about it with. I don't know. Speedway of Nations was pretty cool for me um, in Russia. Being in bronze with um, Doyle and Max, that was that was really cool. Yeah, maybe, oh, maybe I, won the, I won a heat in Melbourne at the GP. That's probably my most memorable race on my own. You reaching Cotton, you're still in quarantine and when and where's your first meeting? Yeah, today's our last day, so we can't wait to get out of the house. We're going for a drive at 12.01 tonight. Yeah, midnight, we're out of here. Uh, first meeting, well, let's know his first meeting's in Gordroff in two weeks' time on the Good 14th of June, so hopefully we can be there and get going for the season. Race bibs or Kevlar's bike covers. Should clubs have matching suits and bikes? Probably yeah for TV and like you know you wouldn't see a football team run out with everyone with their own t-shirt on. So I think definitely yes should be. Obviously money is a problem in England. Can the clubs afford suits for everyone and covers for everyone? But if you look at the best league in Poland on TV, it looks so professional and and so much better. So for sure to take the league up a level, things like that probably should be looked at. Karen Sedgman, how you going? Hey, Kaz. Someone can kick Reese out of this. That'd be good. We've been getting from him. Yeah. Might need to start talking a bit more. <laughs> yeah, question for both. Uh, I always liked the Glasgow track. I had, well, Jamo probably never rode there no, before it was fixed or made like a lot better. But I rode there before, back in the Premier League days, and went quite quite well there. And I went there since it's all been revamped for something Australia versus England, or yeah, Australia versus England. And it was really good. The track was good there. The facilities are a bit upgraded from when I was there a few years ago. But uh, would I ever sign there? Probably not bit far up for me. Uh, yeah, I rode there for the World Under 21 Team Cup in 2018. That was the first and only time I've been there. And um, yeah, I liked it there. The track was cool. It's fast track. Um, it was a long drive. I drove from Poland all the way to Glasgow. So it was a, it was a long hike. But yeah, I liked it there. And um, you never know where we, where we could end up. I could be there one day. I don't know. How have you, Speedway? Thoughts on Speedway GP returning to Australia? It'd be great. Yeah, I think one day it will. Just the the problem is with the venue. I think the stadium it used to be in got sold to the AFL and they were no longer keen on running the Speedway there. So if they could find a venue for it, I think it would be, would be good to get it back for sure. It's just also a big expense to get it um, to Australia. It's a long way. Every rider has two mechanics plus themselves and all their stuff and for Speedway GP to it's a massive expense but every Speedway fan in Australia wants to see it there and um, for all the Aussie Speedway riders they want it, want it there as well um, especially for the Australian Championship riders um, to be able to get a wild card or something like that so it made the Aussie titles a bit more interesting when the winner was going to get the wild card for the GP yeah. and Probably would have sure. been a good idea when they had New Zealand to get them both going at the same time. So the riders could have come out for, for two GPs rather than <clears throat> just one. Save a bit of expense for, for two meetings, but hopefully in the future. I'll have one of your Pirates Kevlar's, please. Start my... <laughs> Probably not really giving away too many sets of Kevlar's, but 
might see him on eBay or something. Midlow's been selling off all, all my stuff while I've been gone. You'd go back and you've got no clothes left in, in his cupboard. Been up raiding my room. Ben Oz, how you going, mate? Keep them coming. Keep the questions coming. Uh, which rider did you both look up to? Um, at the moment, um, I look, uh, I look at Smarsley. Um, yeah, he's world champion at the moment, but he's an amazing rider. He's got a lot of talent. Um, but then as I was growing up, it was, um, like Crumpy Lee and also Darcy Ward. So it just, cha- they never changed. Like I always looked up to them, but as you, as you go on in your career, who you look up to changes, I think. I think you can't really look past Marsley. Me and him raced together in Sweden the last couple of years, and uh, yeah, I got a fair bit of respect for him, what he does on and off the track. So you definitely, he's, definitely he's the man deserve, at the moment. Definitely deserves to be world champion. He works very hard behind the scenes, and um, his team and everyone are just great. So. Role models for this world. Can't ride do you respect the most off, off the track. track. Um, out in Poland, I respect like Yari Campbell and stuff in the team. Yari, Emil, like, they're pretty high class riders. And um, to come in to the team in 2018 and not know them before, and I used to watch them on TV and YouTube and stuff all the time, <coughs> and to be involved with them, um, I respect them to a lot. It's sort of hard to say off the track because you don't really, for the top guys, there's not really too many that we associate with away <clears throat> away from the track. So only really the guys in our team or that who we see regularly and which is like mostly the Aussie guys and whoever you race for with in Poland. And yeah, for sure, what I've got a fair bit of respect for Hampel and Emil as well. How do you think you'll go, Jamo, this season knowing you're going to be a dad and not being home and will bring the family? Yeah. Um, it was a massive decision for me um, to come over, um, knowing that my girlfriend's given birth to our first child in August. Um, yeah, it was an easy decision by far. Um, but I've come over to do a job to support them and hopefully give them a good life in the future. And um, I'll be on the first flight home once um, the season's finished. I was originally planning to go home during the year. Um, when he was, uh, when she was going to give birth, but with the current situation, there's no chance of, um, being able to do that. So, um, I just got to stick it out and, um, yeah, she's got more than enough support back home to get her through and I just got to do my job by now. And then hopefully, or well, next year, um, uh, we'll get an apartment over here in Poland and, um, bring the family over here and we'll Start our life here. Simon Barry, are you still got the same pit crew as you had at Pool? No, actually, I had uh, Paul Knott with me for the last couple of years that I was at Pool, and which was really good. And it was a bit the trip to Manchester was just a bit too far for him with with his regular job and everything. And I was sad to see him go. <clears throat> he was really good to me the last the last couple of years. But now I've got uh, Reese. You'll see him being a pest in the comments if you go through him. <laughs> But uh, I'm not sure where he's going to go. He was average at press day. But I'm sure uh, he'll do the job just fine. <laughs> Neil Young, which rider are you most wary of pulling something dirty on the track? Uh, it's hard there's to say. A, there's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> there's, definitely, there's definitely the guys you know that you can ride close to and the ones that you can't. But well, Nicky gave you a couple of good ones last year. Yeah, I've been done by Nicky before, <laughs> along with along with most long everyone long else who's raced with him. Uh, I'm not sure. There's definitely a few. Which rider inspired you most growing up? I always looked up to Lee, um, Lee Adams. Um, been a Mildura boy myself, and he's from Mildura as well. And yeah, every time he came home and raced. Um, we always went and watched, and he was always good to watch. 
for sure the Aussie guys, Lee and Jason, but I think <clears throat> I looked up to Greg a lot, even still now. And uh, I definitely watch a lot of Greg and try and try and learn something from him. I don't even know what that word is. Random bison presentation today. Bi uh -huh. Biological testing conducted with my company. Uh, I yeah, I don't think I watched your presentation today, mate. <laughs> Sorry about that. Just be confident. <laughs> Jim Murray, you two ran out of razors. Yeah, the, we're in quarantine. Yeah. Couldn't, couldn't go to the shop and get one. Mine's, we got, a, bit, we mine's got, a bit tight at the moment. We've got pictures for TV tomorrow, so I thought I'd let it go for it. Yeah. Here's the UK season resumes. Are you looking forward to lining it up against Jason Crump? And have you ridden against him before? Did you beat him? When he retired and came back to Australia, he'd done a fair few meetings. <clears throat> and uh, I get on pretty well with Jason. He sponsored me for a few years when he when he retired, so we've got a little bit of a friendly rivalry going. He hasn't yet beat me, so that's me claim to fame. I'm 3-0 three, three with Crumpy, so I'm sure he's out to get me. Uh, I think it's great, him coming back. Yeah, it's very good for Speedway in the UK. Um, well, with the, what's happened, probably... Um, not going to be good for the UK, but it was going to be good. Crumpy coming back, and yeah, I'm looking forward to racing him. I actually haven't, I can't remember last time I did race against him. I don't know if I've, I, I th he would have beat me because I would remember if I beat him. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a few years ago now. Worst injury. Oh, worst yeah. pain we've ever had from an injury. Oh. The worst injury I've had is a concussion. When I come. Come um, to Poland in 2018. It was the first first month I was here, and I was I was practice at a race meeting, and um, yeah, I knocked myself out, good and proper, and um, I woke up in the hospital. Um, no, everyone around me speaking Polish. Um, no one that no one that I knew longer than probably about three weeks by my side. So. That was a scary time and it took me a good two months to half get over it and I still haven't been the same since. Yeah, I'd say the same. Probably concussions are the worst for me. I suffer really bad from like post-concussion. I, uh, well, I was out for a few weeks last year, back to the Nikki thing. And uh, yeah, probably like the headaches and stuff after that. That's definitely the worst that I'd suffer from. I'd much rather anything else other than that. Hopefully net none, touch wood. Yeah, um, there's also more reason to race harder too and um, uh, to supply for my family because it's, it's um, not only, we don't only race for fun now, it's a job as well so um, yeah, I'll be probably a bit more cautious, but um, won't mean I'll um, be going any slower, that's for sure. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> no, he's not. <laughs> so we got we missed any? We're probably not mature enough either. My girlfriend's gonna look after two kids, not one. <laughs> uh, keep them coming. I'm gonna do for my coffee. Any more? He, he should help Ben Cook. He should help Ben Cook. Is that supposed to be who or he? Uh, yeah, you should be out. I do help him no. more than enough. He's moved into my workshop, took all my gear, got to babysit him at home. I'm sure he'll do just fine for pool this year under, mid, under Midlow's guidance. They'll go well together. <laughs> under Midlow's guidance, if he doesn't follow him to the pub.
And yes, Reese, mate, got me engine if you're still watching. Who's your engine tuner? Ash Tech. Yeah, I've got a few from a lot of different tuners in the last couple of years, but mostly Ashley Holloway in Poland at the moment out here. Same. Reese Harvey, are you trying to grow your hair like Dan? <clears throat> Dan's trying to grow his hair like me, I think. Dan needs a haircut. I've already been, I've already been there and done that. Actually, we should find that photo of you with long hair. That'd be fantastic. We'll get it up for you. <laughs> I think Brady takes the cake. <clears throat> How long are we talking? 2000. It's been long. When you won the Australian Championship, 2016? 16. Yeah, 16. Bear with me. Yeah, she definitely been wild before. Mm. It's going well back. Back when I was good. <laughs> back in your prime, bit. Keep the questions coming. We've still got a while to go. Yeah, we're not leaving you just yet. Yeah. We can stay longer as if you want. <laughs> we're not doing anything else today. Anthony Vanderberg, good luck for the season, boys. Can't wait to see you back 2021. All the riders stay safe. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Um, we always look Hope forward to racing in Australia. I always like it, um, especially racing at home in Mildura and across the border at Gilman. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Hopes it'll be a good season. We'll be back to do battle again. Favourite English food. English really food? A, I don't really have a favourite. Uh, not sure, really. Like an English carvery, yeah, like carvery, yeah, maybe that, like carvery in England, roast dinner or something. Midlow's wife Susie is a pretty good cook in England, so I get looked after there. Simon Barry, thanks for this good catch up, lads. Stay safe. Thanks, mate. Thanks. Um, hope you're all safe too. We're all right. You're struggling. Yeah, I'm just trying to find a good one. I'm trying to find a Close up. specific one, and I can't find it. Not the picture with Jack. No. <laughs> No, that's there. That's pretty long. <laughs> the one at when... Um, see? Brady takes a cake over Dan, I think. He's just trying to be like me. It's all yeah. good, Dan. Did you guys see the debate on adding weight to the bikes of lighter riders? What are your thoughts on that? Yes, uh, I did see the debate. Obviously, everyone's seen the debate. Um, I don't know. Never, ha bit, never happen. I'm on the light um, side of it, so what am I, 60, 61, so um, I want to keep it how it is, obviously. I don't want to be putting weight on me bike, but I think the heavier riders should work harder to lose weight. It's <laughs> part of the game, so if you want to be quick, then get the kilos off. Home and away or neighbours, none. I'm not a fan of either. Shame I don't watch TV. Uh, Until isolation. Mm. We don't even have TV channels in the house here, just YouTube. Just we've, watched, YouTube. we've watched every video on the whole of YouTube we've watched in the last two weeks. Every Red Bull um, motorsports video we can possibly watch from surfing, um, mountain biking, everything. So you name it, we've watched it. If you ask us, we'll be able to tell you. <laughs> Do 
in every um, DJ mix for the, from the last five years that's been uploaded to YouTube. We've also listened to them. Yeah. We've looked at several holiday destinations that we can't, that go, we can't, that we can't go to. We can't go to. Um, We got someone's gonna have something for us. Or it's probably be a debate. Depends well, where you're from in Australia. We're I'm AFL because I'm Victoria. There's not really like where I live there's only really rugby league and where he lives there's only AFL, so opposites there. But then again, I don't really follow the AFL that much. Yeah. I used to when I was a kid. I, I watch it if it's either. on T V but um I'm not a diehard fan, so it's always on when we're over here, so we don't really get to see. It's a long one. Oh, this was being done on Friday lunchtime, getting all the days mixed up. Looking promising that we got uh, Speedway in July, and hopefully, what do you think our chances of success are this season? I think we have the strongest team on paper. Our reserve pairing looks the strongest we've had for years. Yeah, I think we do have a really good team. I haven't, can't really think of the other teams off my head, but. Um, yeah, I think we got a really good chance to, to do well this year if JMO goes any good. Mm. Um, yeah, it was supposed to be Friday lunchtime, but we had to change the date to today because we've got um, photo stuff of Extra League with Canal Plus TV tomorrow, so at eleven at 12 o'clock, so we had to change Not the date early. Miss that. Sorry. Yeah, miss that, you get fined. So. Got to get there and get me best angle in. Yeah. So, yeah, sorry for coming. Anyone who's early. going to miss out. Oops, hit it. But it's Big all slow up. down. It's all up to the manager how good he goes. Isn't it? Yeah, pretty it's, much. It's Mark's. Mark's. Um, it's Mark. If Mark. Mark does well this year. Yeah, we'll be right. I feel like he's. Been, I feel like he's been slacking the last couple of years. Like as an away rider. I come there with a bit of confidence that my most managing skills aren't that very good. No questions from him yet, actually. Yeah, no surprise. That'd be coming now. He said he had a few crackers for us, but... Yeah. My brain... Nut. <laughs> The block I was a fan of the, the block. block. I'll watch that. I can't watch TV shows, but he watches the block. <laughs> We've got the real photo. It's not it's oh, of course we do. It's not easy this live thing. How long you've both known each other? Bloody too long. Yeah. Uh, properly, what, uh, three, two, three years? Properly? Oh, a bit longer. Yeah, but like, oh, I've we've known, known each other for a long time. Yeah, known each other since we were like 12. I'm a bit older than him, so when I was... Well, you kind of finished jun juniors as I started, kind of thing, so... Only, uh, yeah, last like three years when he come over here and started annoying me. Mm. And it's changed. He's annoying me. <laughs> yeah, he's the proper long hair photo. Does um, Brady's girlfriend just messaged that into us? That's a shocker. That is a shocker. Look at that. <laughs> there you go, Dan. Yeah, show us your best one, mate. Show us what you got. Which football teams in England do you follow? Uh, I'd like to follow it a bit more, but I never really, just can't really get into the football that much. I play FIFA a bit on the PlayStation. But I'd say I'm probably an Arsenal fan, if anything. But I don't really follow it too much. I'd like to go watch a match one day, like a big match. 
um, in Manchester or Liverpool somewhere. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be. I don't really like soccer, but it'd be pretty cool to go um, to the atmosphere. Anything? Nothing. Peter, anything, anything you can say in Polish? A few things that probably shouldn't say live on Facebook, but oh, if we can, if we try. Are you sponsored by Pol Copper? No. It's just a... We're trying to... It's just a gimmick. We keep wearing his hat. He just doesn't want to give in to us, but... No. He does. He does a lot for us. Um, He's helped us out for... Living in his house, actually. Yeah. (laughs) So he's given us a a house to live in, and um, he's helped us a lot over the last... 84 years or whatever, me, three years, so um, without him, we, oh, I definitely wouldn't be here in Poland racing and wouldn't have started my career. Neil Young, has seeing Max qualify for the GPs made you both want to get in it even more? Oh, I probably wouldn't say even more. Like, obviously, uh, the goal for every young guy is to get in the GP, but I wouldn't say I'd want to be in the GP right now. Like, for me, not for Max, but... Fair play to him qualifying. I hope he does well. But I'd probably another couple of years before I think I'd want to be the, in the GP. I'm a fair few years away yet. Uh, hopefully, I I want to be there one day. Um, Max has worked hard to get there. He's done uh, a lot of racing over the years and started racing early overseas and stuff and has invested a lot to get to where he is. So... Um, yeah, but hopefully I can also get there one day, but uh, I think he's still a few years away yet. Who was the quickest at press day? Definitely me. It's not really questionable. You say so. <laughs> well, I said it was me. Yeah. I had to stop watch out. That's why I'm his favourite. Yeah. Graham Stokes, what do you think of our British weather? I don't mind the weather that much. Like I think you, I think the British whinge about it more than it's actually bad. I'm a ginger though, so I don't really like the heat in Australia all that much. I love I the look, heat. I look forward to a little bit of cold. I like the heat. That's why I like it at Poland more. I think the weather here, it's hotter, longer, and it's hotter than in England. I'm from Mildura, so from the desert, so. Um, in the summer, it does get very hot there. And, yeah, I just I don't think I'd like to do a British winter. That's for sure. It's a bit cold. Can I keep up? Yeah. Yeah. Tell me. <laughs> Related to Schlong. Well, I haven't really had any, much to do with um, Rory Schlein. Um, I know I used to watch him race um, when I was a kid, but yeah, I haven't really had much to do with him but it's actually funny because my my girlfriend's actually related to him along the line um long um cousin but yeah do you, do you play any other sports yes we're now professional we're now professional basketball players yep. we got a basketball hoop here at the house and we've watched the uh michael jordan documentary and now we're we're NBA players. Now we're fully basketball players. Um, Can't dunk it yet. No. But it was Brody's idea to buy basketball. And, yeah, that's our next career, I think. <laughs> Neither of us can get it in the hoop mm. regularly. Who do you think has been the best rider in Speedway that was never world champion? Ample. Of course, the famous ones, Lee, who yeah, was never Australia. world champ. I think, yeah, maybe Yarrick. Yarrick. He might not be his best at the moment, but I think... He was good back, for a long time. He was probably the, well, arguably the best rider in Poland for many years in the league. <clears throat> and now I can't think of any others right just now. Mark Lemon. Yeah, def probably Mark Lemon. Should have been a world there. champion. But he crashed. In, later in his career, I thought when he peaked, he should have been, uh, should have been world champion, but then he retired instead. Mm. Oh, questions getting longer. Mm. 
full speedway should be at Bellevue, a total proper racetrack, then build a replica track down south. We speedway fans want to see proper racing with overtaking opportunities and lots of lines. I think that's why the speedway is so much bigger in Poland. All the tracks are built for proper speedway race and not just who can make the start and block everyone or there's not really Bellevue is a perfect example. There's nowhere to really hide. Once you hit the front there, if someone's faster than you, they're gonna they're gonna get you. And I think it's nearly the same in <clears throat> basically nearly all the tracks in Poland at the moment, which is which is good. And I think the preparation of the tracks has a lot to do with that as well. There's not much of a home track advantage like somewhere at Bellevue. There is a little bit, but not as much as somewhere like Pool, where Brady had a big home track advantage in you, where every um, every bump was in the track. I think that's probably what ruins a lot of the racing in England, that all the tracks do have <clears throat> such an advantage, like they do special things to it preparation-wise and stuff, and it ruins the racing a lot. I think all the tracks, like when you look at a track at Poland before before the meeting, you can't see a single mark in it. Like there's, it's got to be the same from inside to outside. There's no like ripped parts of the track or anything. Like it's all perfectly consistent and everyone has the same same advantage. And I think that's what England should should be looking at more if they want to improve the racing. And I think Bellevue is the only the only track at the moment that has <clears throat> that that level of racing on it. Commissar should come cut you off. Yeah, like. <laughs> I think Nichols is a bit upset as he's had a bit of pudding now, <laughs> and he's getting old. Oh, uh, yeah, it's. It's a strange debate, really. It, it's always going to be talked about, but I think the weight thing, it's, I don't think it can ever come, come into play the way the bikes are at the moment. You can't just really add weight to a bike that it'll change the way it handles. And for someone who's really light, they'll, they'll have to add so much weight to the bike and it's just, it's not really, it's not doable. Um, Who's your favourite spit of all time? A tough question. Favorite speedway rider. Um, I don't really have one favorite. Like to watch or? Yeah. I, don't I don't know. know. All time. Darcy is probably the best to watch. Yeah. He'd always probably be on favorite a show. Of all time. Darcy or? Yeah. Darcy, Smarslik. Yeah, the, I didn't really get to watch too much of the older guys. Well, it's a lot easier now to watch the our generation. You know, so much on YouTube and everything of watching them and all that. So, favorite track. Do I don't really have a favorite track. Um, there's a lot of tracks that I, I like. That's, I liked um, last year, Esberg in. Um, yeah, it's a good track. In Denmark, it's changed now. It's like real banked. It's like a small, smaller Bellevue. That was. Um, that's a really cool track. But yeah, I've got a lot of favorite tracks. Mm, I quite yeah. I'm not sure. I, try, I quite like Gastro in Germany. It's a funny little track. I always do good there though. Um, here we go, Mark Lemon. Where's he been hiding? Drive, Mildura Motorcycle Club. Which one of you two would win a posty bike race down Winton Drive at Mildura Motorcycle Club? My money's on Jamin. Obviously, he not have that. The time track. Obviously, he didn't see how quick I took off on the posty that night, and how quick I come off it. Philip Millard, what are your aims for this year? To start racing first. To race anywhere. <laughs> to have, get my that, job back. Yeah, that would be... Um, In any country yeah. of the whole world. Um, and then once start racing, just to be consistent and score points and um, yeah, do my job for the team and hopefully do well. Uh, what's that, Kevin Footley? What is the best speedway track in the whole world? I don't know. I can't answer that. I don't have a favourite. He said the best. I don't know the best. I'm sure about favourite. Maybe Roslav. I think that mm -hmm. track's, yeah, I think bet for TV. 
best I wouldn't say the best but not the best stadium or anything like that, but like just Time's for pretty good. just for racing, I think you won't see better racing than what you see in Rosso when they prep it right. A grippy tire. Not often they prep it right. Not for the league anyway. Yeah, Torrin, obviously Torrin's a good track. Not sure. Yeah, probably you have to say for stadium, track, everything, probably Torrin. First strange things when you arrive in Poland and Europe. <clears throat> Do you mean like this year or forever or? Everything is different. Yeah, just turning up in Europe from Australia, is, everything's strange. Everything's about 5,000 years older. Have you ever partied? Chris Harvey, have you ever partied in Cardiff? No, mate, I don't drink or anything like that. I'm professional now. I have grew up. But it said, have you ever? Huh? No. <laughs> I have, I have you ever? Now. Have I ever? Oh, <laughs> yes. I've probably been seen in Cardiff before. Not recently. I haven't. Honestly, haven't. Is our internet no good? Yeah, we're, we're having problems with that. Yeah. But we're stuck here in isolation, so we can't help with that. Sorry, guys. Garbage on the internet, eh? Who's the better cook? I don't cook. Brady's going to have to be the better cook. You reckon? No. Like there the, hasn't... the better cook is next door. We go to the house next door for dinner. Paul Copper's the chef. Paul Copper's the chef. And he's... The chef. Yeah. So, we well, get up, go next door, have dinner, and just like we're at home. <laughs> there hasn't been much... There hasn't been much cooking going on here, that's for sure. Eggs for breakfast. That's about as far as we go. No, oh, look, everyone's half us now. Mm. Sorry, guys. Yeah, it's the Polish internet. That's the problem. They're still working on 4G here in Poland. Mm. I don't think they've only got 3G. We're doing the best we can. Keep your hot spot up. It's good that they're in. Probably, yeah, probably going <laughs> to shut it in in a second. Everyone, everyone's up. Yeah. Uh, well, that'll probably do us then. We've got 10 minutes left. Do we? Yeah. Oh, right. Sorry. Hit us then. 10 minutes quick. If anyone wants to supply us with new Wi-Fi, feel free. Yeah, we're looking for a bit of sponsorship, actually, a new yeah. Wi-Fi box. Yeah, that'd be great. 